Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the November monthly reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Seems like you already have a start with that card. We're gonna pull out a couple of feelers from the Work with the Light Oracle deck. We already have one jumper, Imrama, Star Mother and keepers of the earth remember these are general reading guys and energies can be reversed so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive where are you being called to journey to where are you being called what's your inner calling what exactly do you want to do with your life there are some ex existential crises that I feel right now happening. You are really questioning yourself, what you're doing, why you are here. What exactly do you want to do in life? Be kind to yourself, okay? How can you mother yourself? How can you take care of yourself while you are going through this crisis? Keepers of the earth, you're not alone. The ancient ancestors stand beside you. You're not alone in this. So this existential crisis that you are going through, my Aries, do not feel alone. And be kind to yourself, okay? You've been told to mother yourself. Come on, take care of yourself, okay? Don't be too harsh. Don't be too harsh on yourself. You are being, I'm told. You are being very harsh to yourself. Don't. You're not alone in this. You don't have to always put yourself through this unnecessary struggle and pain. Okay? Let's jump into the tarot and see what we have for you. Do not get stuck with the timelines. Remember, time's fluid. So... This is just for reference when we talk about time here. Present moment, Ten of Cups. That's wonderful energy. Then why do you feel this ex existential crisis? Is it too good to be true? Or it's like being in a room full of people and still feeling alone. Not knowing why you are feeling that. You've been blessed with everything and still... You're questioning yourself and all of this. Crossing you is the queen of pentacles. Yeah. Questioning the very basis of where you are. Princess of swords is what's grounding you. Maybe someone came along with something from the past that is troubling you now. Five of pentacles. Probably someone who is there as a harsh reminder of this past and that's the reason you are now questioning everything three of cups is what's crowning you that's nice friends family people you care about all in your focus in the near future you have the lord or the emperor that's you right there nice that's a nice energy to be in Internal, we have the Ten of Swords finally dropping this pain, this lack, this whatever grief, this, I'm told this is hidden from the world. You kept this pain within. You did not show it to the world. That's the reason everybody around you is all happy because you've taken that, you know, big bitter gulp not telling anybody that you had to do that for everybody's happiness and for the sake of others you took it all on yourself this pain is something that nobody knows about but that's making you question everything around you but guess what your family and friends are around you they are very much having your back Look, I'm taken to this. You're not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. 
your soul tribe has got your back whether in spirit or in the 3d world external we have the five of cups yeah five five this is you are energetically still carrying this is a lot of pain in here and this is i'm told again and again this is undercover nobody knows this you have not shared it even with the closest of your friends or family king of pentacles in hopes and fears because you want to give them this stability see the queen of pentacles we have in the challenge and in hopes and fears we have the king of pentacles this is all about stability in life giving that security and that safe zone to your family this is family matter the hangman as the outcome under the deck we have the ten of wands there is a big load that's coming off that's for sure we have two tens tens of ten of swords ten of wands there's a load coming off and what do we need we need that inner wisdom we need that inner knowledge that what's done is done what's done is done you need to move forward in life you don't have to carry this along you don't the new journey that we are talking about where you are being called to journey to this new journey that we are talking about this does not need this past life baggage whether this was in the past from this life or some past life baggage that you've been carrying energetically because of which you have been put into patterns again and again into the situations again and again so that you finally have that awakening you can finally realize you do not have to be alone in this ten of cups we have the lovers see this is all about family this is all about your loved ones those that you care about at the 3d level everything looks beautiful everything looks in harmony everything everybody is happy perfect family enough to have on the table not just for yourself but those who are coming to you it's like you know the rainbow in the distance everything is is rainbow and roses that's how it looks you know there's perfect harmony there is a lot of love in life everybody around you is happy you know you are the only one who feels this uprooted feeling this questioning your entire existence as as i said this is an exi existential crisis that you are going through queen of pentacles is the challenge position please clarify what do we have the hanged woman come on we have hanged woman and hanged man there is a need to go within which we are finding difficult that's the reason we are having this exist existential crisis in the first place we are not able to connect with our own self we are questioning everything that we are doing for others and why are we doing this i am very much interested in this why this energy from the past princess of sword what's grounding us is princess of cups there is some young energy that's around we have justice at the bottom here there is something that's coming from the past this is blast from the past i feel this is some someone some information something that's coming from the past that has put you in a spot that has made you question everything that you have done for others was it all a lie you are asking i'm um, this entire sentence just came just like that was it all a lie no it wasn't for just a couple of you not too many but definitely this is definitely for someone one or two people not more this is coming for someone this is a child from an affair that your family or current family did not know about or you yourself did not know about 
wow, that's drama in life. No wonder that you are questioning yourself or this person has put you in that existential crisis. Who am I? What did I do? Was I lying to everybody? Why am I doing that? That hang woman in the challenge position, you have been completely uprooted by whosoever has come along with this new info. I feel this is a out of wedlock situation for someone. Yeah, this is about a child being born out of a wedlock that you did not know about that has now suddenly come out of the blue and reminded you of all that happened in life in the past that you thought you have closed that chapter and moved on in life. This is a rather punch in the gut reminder of no, it's not yet over. You left something in the past that wasn't over. And now it's coming back. Five of Pentacles. Is it you or is it somebody that you left hanging? Five of Pentacles in the past. Too many, too many. I'm told take all. Okay, I am taking all. We have the Queen of Coins in the past that we have in the challenge position. We have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of my Wands. My, my. Guys, I don't know whether it was you or if whether it was someone that you left behind hanging in a limbo. Someone really stabbed someone in the back, whether you got stabbed in the back by somebody or you landed up stabbing someone in the back and now karma is coming back and biting you in the ass. Remember when we had the Princess of Cups, we had justice at the bottom of the deck. We had justice at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, karma is coming coming and, and biting you in the behind. That's what's happening. In the past, yeah, somebody up, landed up uprooting someone. There was a lot of stability, but suddenly there was something that happened. I'm taken again and again to this wild dog or something like that, you know, on a, on a hunt. The prey and the hunter, the hunted and the hunter right here. Yeah, the innocent little rabbit being hunted by a dog. Yeah, man, you left someone really bleeding or someone left you bleeding. Take how it resonates. You know better who did what to whom. Oh, yeah. Someone really had to, you know, stand up for themselves Someone who really brought a lot of stability in life. Whether it was you bringing stability, stability in life for somebody else. A lot of peace, a lot of happiness. But man, the way someone betrayed somebody. This was, yeah, somebody got blindsided completely. Someone really got stabbed in the back. Stabbed in the heart and the back. Yeah, the past... If you leave loose ends, the past comes back, my loves, in ways we never think possible. Crowning you is the Three of Cups. Whew. There is support. You are not alone. Eight of Cups. Yeah. Your family and friends and your ancestors and your guardian angels all are going to help you move past this energy. Leave this behind. Finally put a full stop to this past story, to this past life, to this event, incident or people, I'm told, from the past and move. The Lord in the near future, please clarify and you would finally feel like being yourself there is a sigh of relief like finally this is over it's like a big burden coming off your shoulder look we have the ten of swords and ten of wands you really feel you would really feel that a big burden has been taken off your shoulders yeah the lord you will finally feel you your back 
please clarify we have the eight of swords finally being unstuck you're not stuck in that energy anymore nope you're not you would have finally be able to move eight of cups from there not feel this stuck energy anymore yeah we have eight eight we have ten ten maybe you want to look into these numbers we also have i think seven seven don't we yes we do we do so yeah probably you would want to look into that but anyways ten of swords is the internal what do we have two cards popped out in the reverse we have two of swords and the emperor in the reverse the big burden you're not confused anymore you feel a little bit shaken you know this wasn't an easy phase to end this wasn't especially if it actually is something to do with a love child oh my god i can only imagine how it can rock your boat your family everything that your family and you believed in Whew. this is not something that is it, it's it's not an easy pill to swallow let's say and yes you feel shaken but you're not double minded anymore you want to leave this past behind you want to leave the past in the past that's what you want that is what you truly want even though you feel really shaken from the very core five of cups comes along with a lot of grief of course please clarify we have five five as well guys five of pentacles right here five of cups right here so we have five five seven seven eight eight ten ten Ooh. what do we have six of swords in the reverse dang that brings along a lot of pain oh yeah the peace and the harmony that everybody could look at that rainbow all the rainbow and the roses with this revelation of this news or someone who came along with that news you somehow you know when the secret is out you know that you know it's out now and you do not really have to hide it anymore so there's a sense of relief even though it comes along with its own set of disturbance and damage and destruction but you're like i'm gonna face it like a man i'm gonna face it this is what it is i don't want, want to live this lie anymore and it comes along with a lot of regret i'm told there's a lot of regret here whosoever has done um, remember the energies can be reversed so you know who's this that i'm talking about whether it's you or someone else who is uh, twined in the situation with you there is a lot of sadness there's a lot of heaviness in your heart that you feel you feel defeated by your own doings this is your own doings i'm sorry whosoever this is hopes and fear you are hoping to bring some kind of stability back in life is that what you're hoping king of pentacles and hopes and fears please clarify please clarify we have the five of swords in the reverse yes you are hoping to get past this conflict and bring some stability in whatever the new life that it looks like with or without that happy family you are hoping that you are able to own what you have done deal it like a man face it like a man and bring an end to this conflict as i said let the past be in the past and you are very much determined to do that 
you really want to leave everything in the past behind you you want to move past this the hangman as the outcome all of this brings about some inner knowledge look we have judgment here we have judgment with the hangman this is all about who you are who am i really that existential crisis that we have been talking about from the very beginning of this reading we are finally coming to a point where we know what who we are and what we want what we truly want from life why we did what we did in the past and why the past is has now raised its hood like a snake and bitten you and as i said you might lose some people on the way and you might gain some people on the way life is not going to be the same but you are having that sense of relief you are shaken but not broken yeah and in a way you are also i won't say happy in a way but you are relieved of your burden what's at the bottom of the deck here two of coins yeah look this ship right here it's more like two of wands energy that i'm getting from this card you are heading towards a new future with or without some people you are ready to leave this conflict behind and give some stability in life to those who are who chose to be with you despite all of this accept you as you are the good the bad and the ugly you accept your faults as well we are all we are all beings with our own flaws and you are ready to accept that and you are ready to drop that burden that you have been carrying from the past that secret that you have been holding on to that pain that you have been holding on to you are ready to drop that that's what's going to happen this is not going to be an easy phase my loves but it's going to be a worthy one let's get you a final message from the yogic path oracle deck to wrap this rather intense reading up let's see what do we have this is the crown chakra this is being aligned with the universe this is finding your true you this is going within the layers of who you are and finding who you truly are your true existence this is the crown chakra let's read it from the book and see what this card has to tell you in detail you may have noticed intuitive rushes of creative wisdom channeling through you lighting up your every cell that is called a download and it is a message from the divine selected to come to you because you have the potential to birth it on this planet these downloads occur when the crown chakra is open which may only be a few seconds but is enough to illuminate a path that you never knew possible you never knew you will be able to drop this baggage and live with this you thought this is going to be the end of life if this secret comes out but that's not what it is that's not how it works find what brings you these channeling states and bring yourself there as much as possible whether it's through meditation walking in nature singing or writing the absence of the mind allows the genius of the divine yeah you've been too much in your head right the hanging woman in the challenge but still you've not not really been able to find a way why because you've been thinking from your head space and not from your heart space those intuitive hits chose you now it is 
your time to birth them to life. And you are not alone in this. Your ancestors are with you. So be kind to yourself and set yourself on this new journey that is your true calling. And in order for you to be on this new journey, this load had to come off. Whichever way this came along, this was meant to be my Aries. I thank you all for joining me today. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.